we are at this family video. As you can see, store closing, sale, movies, games, fixtures, everything. It'll open till noon, it's 11.15, so we will be back. All right, so this family video is going out of business. You can see they're trying to sell everything, so they got like $10 on PS4 games and uh, $2.99 or $2.50 on PS3 games. So, Let's see if there's any gems in here. What is going on, people, inside the internet machine? Welcome to this episode of The Pickups. We don't have too much stuff. Uh, this time around, but that's okay. You know, sometimes you win, sometimes you don't win. We never lose. We just don't win. Okay, uh, so Zig hooked us up. He said I got another bag of micro machines for you. So we got a nice little bag of micro machines. You're not going to see that, which is awesome because I love micro machines. I said, how much you want? He said, 15 bucks. I said, no problem. So thank you so much for the deal. At least I feel like I got a great deal. Uh, some uh, DVD pickups. We got uh, the Rat Patrol, the Complete Series. Now this is interesting when you look at comps online. Sometimes they sell for $9.99. Sometimes they sell for $20. Some people have them listed for like $40. I got it for five bucks. So I'm gonna put it up for uh, probably 15 bucks with uh, media mail. Always keep an eye out and scan if you're out there, horror movies, especially kind of the unique stuff. We got Trilogy of Terror. I don't even know what this is, but uh, two bucks at Goodwill. Comps online, about 15 bucks or so, so not bad there. You guys saw in the video footage provided, it was at Goodwill and, uh, <laughs> okay. So I'm at Goodwill and I'm usually like, hey, can I check out the games in the case? And they open the case and slide it open. They just stand there and let you pick through them. This lady wanted to like stand in front of the case and she's like, which one you want? And I'm like, uh, NCAA basketball 10. This one? No, no, the one below it. This one? No, the one that says NCAA basketball 10 on it. Like, learn to read. So uh, we picked up NC, and because I was upset, I was like, God damn, lady, get out of the way. You know, I did. I saw that the case, you know, has some damage to it. And I'm like, okay, no problem. Six bucks for the disc. I literally went like this. I was like, okay, no scratches or anything, cool. But when I got home, I don't even know if this disc is going to work. You can see it's got, let me get this over here. If I go like that. Oh, you can see it's got chips taken out of it. Like right there. There's a good one. Right there. So I, I don't even know if this disc is going to work. So we'll call that a bust until uh, we figure out it's a boom. And then made another mistake buying this game. Sims 3, you know, Sims 3, Sims 3 Pets. Those games sometimes sell for like 15 to 20 bucks. So I'm like, cool for $5. But really, this is only like a $7 or $9 game or something like that. So again, another bust. So after I left Goodwill, I went over to Family Video. And uh, they were closing that store. Uh, they didn't have anything in there. You know, I figured I'd go in there and their games would be like $5 or less. Because they're going out of business and they want to get rid of everything. But no, they still wanted like... $29.99, $15.99, $9.99 for some of the games. And then the PS3 games that were left over, uh, you know, two for five bucks isn't that bad, but I didn't really see any titles that were, you know, must have titles that I had to have. So we did not buy anything uh, from there. Went to the old, ye old Russian pawn shop and the guy's sitting behind the counter, you know, and I'm like, hey, uh, how much are your Xbox 360 games? And he goes, Xbox 360, $3. I'm like, okay, cool. Uh, I want to check one out when you get a chance. So, uh, you know, it's, it's there and I pull it off and I see it Blur's got a $20 price tag on it. And I'm standing there and I do the move where I'm like, I open it up, uh, I look at the disc, I turn it over upside down so he can't see the price tag. And I'm like, okay, man, I'll take this one. I want to check out, you know, the empty cases, uh, the cases that are not marked and inside this one i found a copy of wii sports was we i always want to say wii sports was right wii sports very rough condition need to be resurfaced and a copy of 
borrow Musha the Demon Blade uh, for Wii. So I said, okay, how much do you want for these games? <laughs> I love it, man. I'm like, all right, how much do you want for these three? He's like, you give me $8. I'm like, no problem, comrade. Here's your eight bucks. And I was out the door. I was pretty happy, especially when you get that Wii Sports to work. Those are always great sellers. Uh, another Goodwill pickup. Actually, I don't think I've ever seen this game uh, out in the wild. I, I don't really see it a lot. Missing the manual, but Donkey Kong Barrel Blast for five bucks. We're gonna put that up on the eBay store, probably for uh, 15 bucks or so. And uh, little bread and butter items. So uh, Tyler and I went out to uh, Maxine's Bargain Box and um, you know, I love Maxine's, it's a great store. They always, you know, they're always willing to work with people and you know, all kinds of stuff. They've given me free games in the past. You know, my first stop there, I was looking for Kill Switch on uh, PS2 and they just happened to have, I was like, how much is it? He's like, it's a dollar game, man, just take it. I'm like, okay, cool. But uh, I saw this in their collector's counter for N64. We're getting close. We're like at 88 games or something like that. But Snowboard Kids for 40 bucks. It's been there since uh, 629. You know, I figure I'll probably never see it for less than 40 bucks in the next couple years. So, uh, you know, might as well pick it up now. And then I saw this in their PlayStation 1 collector's case. Swagman for 12 bucks. But when I got to the counter, he was like, I'll give that to you for six bucks. So we got Swagman on PS1 for $6. Disc is in great condition and uh, very awesome. That is all that we've picked up so far, but uh, we plan on hitting some garage sales this weekend. All right, so Tyler and I hit up some garage sales, uh, pawn shops, flea markets, thrift stores, whatever. And uh, so let's just go ahead and check out some of the bigger non-video game related stuff that I got this week. And uh, we'll be right back here in a couple minutes. All right, welcome to CM at Retroland. This is my backyard, man. If you guys were wondering what my backyard looks like. This apple tree, windstorm blew over. Just haven't uh, taken care of it yet wooded area back there extra shed there there's the hizzy front lawn the weeds by my flagpole that i just decided to neglect and not deal with and then uh driveway down to the main road but uh here's our garage with all of our junk in it there she is blow mold this thing is huge it's like three feet tall you can see the wire is like split down here whatever he tried to do to it he tried to splicey splicey this looks like a christmas tree lights onto that and when I plugged it in I shocked myself so I was like oh we'll just get a new kit for that but I'm thinking I'm thinking maybe we can get uh you know 80 bucks out of this someone has one on eBay right now for 125 plus shipping so yeah hopefully we can uh make a little cashish on this I only paid five bucks for it got this for 10 bucks it's a Zenith uh, VCR TV combo does have the AV input which is nice came with uh, two remotes. One of them doesn't actually go with this TV. But if you ever see these out in the wild, don't be afraid to check them out. This particular model um, also takes batteries. So it's perfect for travel. And some of these guys can get into that 80 to $150 range. You know, stuff that you would normally pass up on. I'm gonna throw this up for 80 bucks local. I only paid 10 bucks for it, so why not? I had her throw in this uh, Crown Royal small bag. I'm not sure what was in here. But, uh, you know, I've seen other eBay sellers on YouTube sell Crown Royal bags. So I figured throw it in for free, why not? Got this at the Goodwill outlet where they pay by pound. I got this actually maybe a video or two ago, but I forgot to show it. It was in the back of my car. Nothing too crazy here, just parts. I posted it on Facebook for 10 bucks. Somebody come pick it up for 10 bucks, no problem. I don't normally delve into the beer taps because I really don't see them. And when I do, people want you know, 10, 20 bucks each. And I don't really know what I'm looking at. We went to a garage sale. The guy had like 13 beer taps. He wanted a buck a piece for them. So uh, I picked up some, Tyler picked up some. The rest were kind of rusted down in these parts or cracked or whatever. But uh, this one's kind of heavy. Looks like it sells for, you know, 15 to 20 bucks on eBay. So I'll probably put that up for 19.99. I'll probably pair these together 
you know, somebody like Shad Juice or uh, Lonnie over at Garage Flips, you know, they'll, they'll know more about this than, than I will. But this, this is something that I love right here. Tyler spotted this at a Goodwill. It was five bucks. It's a vintage Adidas bag. It is in pretty rough condition. I probably would have left it, but you always want to check the tags on these. If you look on the tag, it is a sample bag. And some of these sample bags can go for 100, 150, 200 bucks, 250 bucks. You know, it just kind of depends on the bag and the year and the colors and all that stuff. But I'm going to throw this up on my eBay store for probably 120 plus shipping. And uh, the first person that really offers me a decent amount, I'm just going to take it and ship it to them. So at the same sale that I got that little TV, I saw this and I just had to have it. This is a Fred Flintstone mug from 1980. But what makes this really cool is it's from Kings Island. Kings Island is an amusement park that's a in Cincinnati, so it's like yeah, two hours or so away from here. Pretty clean and nice inside, boom. But uh, yeah, I remember going to Kings Island and Cedar Point, and they'd have these little plastic doodads, you know, $70,000, you know, and fill it with, uh, you know, a little juice or something for the kids, the places, that's where they get you on the drinks. But uh, I, I don't know, I might keep it, I might just throw it in the, uh, in the curio cabinet, or I'll throw it up on eBay and see what we can get for it. This was interesting. Stopped at a um, at this guy's garage sale, and down in front he had a bunch of motorcycle stuff, like Harley Davidson stuff. And uh, I saw he had this bag of patches, so I was like, "Cool!" So I started checking them out, and I kind of pulled out this one, this Harley Davidson motorcycle one. And I'm pretty sure I've seen one of these sell, uh, you know, on eBay through another YouTuber, maybe Lonnie or Shad Juice or something for six or seven bucks but i paid five dollars for all these patches which was really cool i uh, started looking at these patches and a lot of them are sort of african-american or black american related so here's honoring honoring the heritage of african-american writers uh iron elite harley davidson patches i'm not going to go through all of these but uh here's one where it says touch a color it's a united states map with uh the three primary colors of all the african nations you know, every every African nation has red, black, or blue, or green in their uh, flag color scheme. There's Buffalo Soldiers. Uh, here's Bikers for Obama 2008. Buffalo Thunder, Harley Owners Group. So there's just a bunch of random patches. I'll kind of try and lot them up. Hopefully only make two or three listings and put them on my eBay store. Uh, I learned my lesson with patches a while back. I got that, that Cub Scout bag. And I tried to list like all those patches individually and they just haven't sold. So I'm going to pull all those listings down and maybe relist those. But patches and stuff are uh, awesome resellers if you can sell them, you know. Uh, but I think grouping them up is the best way to do it unless you have something that's, you know, super rare. So I was at Ohio Thrift, picked up a Wii sensor bar for four bucks. Um, you never need a Wii sensor bar until you need a Wii sensor bar. So... We'll come across the Wii eventually that needs one. So for, and for four bucks, that was a good price. The cable on this thing is so ridiculously long that it's like always chewed up and ripped and whatever. Uh, Lord of the Rings Battle for Middle Earth on PC, two bucks at Game, or not GameStop, at um, Goodwill. Not as popular as the other ones, but that's still, you know, 18, 20 bucks. So I'm definitely not going to leave that for two bucks. I'm already at Goodwill. Might as well pick it up. Uh, we went, Tyler and I went up to eat. Uh, for we stopped game hunting, went out to eat, you know, took a break. There happened to be a GameStop right there. We walked in. They had Back to the Future, a Telltale game on the Xbox 360, a game that I've wanted to get my hands on. Now, I'd like to get this on the PS3 because that's my console of choice. It was $14.99, but I used my $5 Power Ups reward, so we got that for $10. So I think that there's $10 worth of fun right there. Tyler reserved a game at uh, Warp Zone Games in Hilliard, Ohio. If you've never been to Warp Zone Games, man, this store is awesome. It's a great store. They got, uh, you know, retro stuff, modern stuff, import stuff. Darren is very knowledgeable about the import stuff and the limited run stuff and all that stuff. But, uh, you know, at their store, they give away these dust covers for free. So you had a box of them, so I grabbed three. Most stores will charge you like a buck for those. But Darren's like, ah, I don't care. I just throw them in there. And uh, we got three manuals, three manuals for 12 bucks, which is not bad. We got uh, Dot Hack Infection, 
So all I need to complete that now is the bonus disc or DVD. I don't know, I think it's a DVD. We picked up the manual for The Legend of Zelda, a game that I'd like to have complete in the box. Man, I miss colored manuals, guys. Jeez, oh, Pete. And then uh, we picked up the manual for Back to the Future for NES, which, by the way, <laughs> we went out to Maxine's, and uh, you guys saw it on my Facebook. Uh, I beat this game, man. Back to the Future, I got this essentially for free because I bought this other game. So, yeah, it's not as bad as people make it out to be, but I wouldn't say it's a great game. The walking stages, there's like four, and then you do like a set piece that relates to the movie. They should have whittled that down to like three, maybe. Three walking pieces and then the set piece. So now we have that in the manual, which is uh, really awesome. They're putting in a lot of retro work. I also beat Batman and uh, Gremlins 2, which was amazing. But the reason that I got that for free was... I picked up a very rare PlayStation game that they sort of had mispriced in their, their game case. They had a complete copy of Dragon Seeds. They had it marked for 50 bucks, but they charged me 40 and I got Back to the Future for free. So uh, this is a game, again, like I said, I, I don't see it a lot. I'm going to say it's rare just because I never see it. And there's usually only like two or three listings on eBay. Sometimes it's like, oh, it's a rare game. And then you look on eBay and there's 50 copies available. You know what I mean? But this game, you do not see a lot. Gain strength, gain speed, gain wisdom. It's some type of, uh, it looks like almost like a Pokemon type knockoff where you're training your animals and building them up. But uh, yeah, this game usually goes for about 75, 80 bucks. And then we, last game? Yeah, last game. Last game, everybody. The last game we got, we were at uh, Play It Trade It over in Hilliard, and I saw this in their case. I have never seen this game before in my life. Not that I was looking for it, but this is a game like RPG Tour Guide. Uh, you know, Ryan Phoenix would freak out over. It's called Arquista's Ring, and they had it for $25. Now, just like Worm, Journey to the Center of Earth, that I got for $25 bucks from Half Price Books, the current sale listings were $25, bucks, but the copies that were now on ebay are, are substantially higher somebody's asking 90 dollars for this game on ebay and has a rental store sticker on the back so maniacs home video 293 south sandusky delaware ohio 43015 vhs movie rentals custom video services so if you live in that area maybe you rented this game back in the day i don't know that much about it i know it's sort of zelda like but uh, we might have to give this one a try Guys, that is going to do it. Thank you so much for tuning in and checking out this video. Please subscribe, like, comment, share on social media. Click that notification bell because Texas Toast doesn't like it when I say bang that notification bell. Click on the notification bell so you can stay up to date on all of your CM retro gaming goodness. Guys, take care of yourselves and we will see you on the next one.